All right. So I, I think um, talking about the automations is the highlights I want to hit here. I'm happy to help with, with anything else along the way. But um, I think the rest of it will be fairly basic is to just converting whatever your system you're on or setting up, sign it up, setting it up when you sign up. Um, so we have a couple automations active here. Um, and I'll start with the welcome one because I think it's the one everyone's familiar with. This is the one I talked about when we were all on last time um, with Jordan, that most softwares, when you get them, you get a out of the box welcome email that you can maybe change the, the logo. Um, and it says the same thing for every customer. We were able to customize this entire thing. So I'll walk you through step by step here. Um, contact subscribes to the list, the full contact. You can, cho you can choose uh, any, any, anything to start this automation here. Uh, we happen to choose it's when you sign up in Starchup or the full contact list is the, the one provided through Starchup. Um, but you could set anything in here, you know, when they sign up to a different list, uh, when they get added, what tag, um, things like that. So they sign up and they automatically get a welcome email. And can you guys see the what pops up over here on the screen, previewing the email? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you can see this is not a cookie cutter out of the box. This is uh, I'll scroll up. This is um, wording from our customer support rep with links directly to our website with photos that we pre-populated. And what we did here is we welcomed them. We, you know, I think branding is a lot more than your um, just your logo. Like you can set the tone, you can explain the friction points, you can welcome them and be as specific as you want. Um, and what we did in the, after a brief introduction, uh, we added three large photos with three Q and A's. So these are three most frequently asked questions. If you're gonna sign up and not know what laundry delivery is, it's gonna be because of one of these three questions you really didn't know. So it's, uh, it's probably how much does it cost? How do I get my bags and how do I schedule a pickup, right? Something, something along those lines. Um, and we were able to add custom everything on there. So already it looks better. It's eye catching. It's, there's nice photos, um, uh, everything like that. It's custom to our business. So the white and box that would be great. The, compared. the white box at the top Go is ahead. a trigger. Is that what that's called? Yep. So what this is, is, if you think about it like a funnel, right? You're what mm -hmm. you're doing is what's the top of the funnel? What starts pushing stuff into this? And the, we set it as to when they subscribe to that Got list. It. But that could be anything of all the variety that Nick's mentioned so far. I think to keep it simple, let's just and how we use it most simply uh, is when they sign up for Starchup, right? That's where most of your contacts are coming from. Uh, you could add when they sign up on that, you know, $10 off field uh, form on your site too. But for us, it's, it's most of this is driven by signing up in Starchub. Mm -hmm. um, so they get a welcome email. And then in here you say, what's the next move? So I'm building this out top to bottom. I say they sign up, what's next? I click plus, mm -hmm. we're gonna send them this email. Then I click plus again, and I can choose to send an email. I can choose to wait. I can choose to read a condition if they have three orders, if it's Tuesday at 12, right? If it's that, then this. Um, and I'm not going to go recreate this because this is our live one. Now you can see there's 75 people in the queue here waiting three days to get their next email. So they got their welcome email and we wait three days. Does the contact ma match the following conditions? Total deals is less than one. So essentially we're saying if yes, they have signed up and they have not ordered. Right, that's the classification. Total deals is less than one, so yes, we're gonna send them this email. If total deals is not less than one, it means their total deals is one or more. That means they've ordered, let's just take them out of this. They're not gonna get this next email. They're already ordering. So right here, you take a right turn and go to where the automation ends if you have one or more orders, and you take a left turn, and if you don't have an order yet, you get this next email. This is, you've had three days to place your order from when you signed up. So it waits three days, then it runs this um, yes or no test, whatever the technical name for that is. And then it says, let's send them another email. This is our sign up, no order, S-U-N-O, first offer. So this is our first offer after you haven't, if you signed up and haven't ordered. This is, again, it's the same type of thing we can click into it. I hesitate to get too far in here and start messing things up.
this is how you automate anything you want to, first name, last name, whatever. Uh, we notice you haven't scheduled. Can we drop off some bags with you as our offer? Uh, as you build more laundry over time, it might help to have these bags to stuff your laundry into. Would you like me to schedule this? Please reply, Molly. And then once, you know, again, cute photos, cute branding, cute everything. You can stuff your bags full. You can shoot them full. You can slam dunk it, right? Just marketing. Do, do whatever you want there. Um, but this is that second contact. You'd be shocked how this converts. Like they have their first name. They're like, oh, you know, I didn't have the bags. I was thinking about that. Thanks for following up. We'll schedule a non-service drop off to drop them their bags. Um, that email before we get too far into this is if you take one thing away, it's following up at least once after they signed up, it didn't order. We measure, uh, I saw the APIs getting released, Nick. Um, so this won't be as manual, but we measure, um, registrations in two forms. We measure total registrations on a weekly basis. We have a goal for how many new customers we like to gain weekly, but we measure quality registrations as well. Those are customers that have placed an order. Uh, in their first, you know, X number of time. I think it's two weeks. So this second email right here jumped our Q reg percentage from we were hovered around 50 for most of the time until we got this automation and we're up in above 75 right now. So you talk about adding 25% conversion of customers you've already paid the conversion cost for, you've already paid the ad spend for, they've already been on your website, right? And that's just one email. Um, then. It, Let's keep going down just to, to um, for the sake of it, I think you guys are probably already starting to understand the benefit, but we sent them that pay offer to send the bags to them. We wait for four days now, so we're a week out from when they ordered. Um, there's 28 people in the queue here, so 28 have registered three days ago, gotten that second order email and not ordered, so we'll send them another. Do they still have no orders, essentially is what we're asking. If no, bump them out of the email. If yes, let's send them a third email. So this is our sign up, no order, second offer. And this is an email that says, we get it, something along the lines of, we get it, laundry deliveries is scary, you don't trust other people with your clothes. What if you just sent sheets and towels with your first order? Uh, that you, we can't ruin your, per your favorite shirt if you don't send it, right? And if you just send sheets and towels, we'll give you a 50% off coupon code. So we include a coupon code there. Um, and that's a last ditch attempt to, you know, it's been a week. Let's let's uh, see if we can get you again. At times, this has been up even further. We can add and subtract emails to this form. Um, but this is where our e email series ends. It's a week out. Uh, there's been times where we run it two weeks out with during COVID where people were very nitpicky about germs and everything. We extended this and had emails about cleanliness and hygiene um, when we're not swamped at the laundromat and needing more labor, uh, we would run this out further to try to convert more. But right now this is fairly lean. Um, but you can see just in the numbers here where there's 75 people that didn't order, if we can convert 25% of them with the next email, that's a lot of customers, right? At a you know, $70, $80 average order value. So you take one thing away from this, it would be set this up. It's super, super easy. Um, the functionality here could, again is once you have the idea for the email to send, it's easy. Um, and you're welcome to copy ours, right? The, you're just clicking a plus and you're choosing, okay, at this point, do I send them an email? Do I send them a text? Do I wait or do I measure how many orders they have? So it's, it's four buttons we choose from here to decide the process. Step one, choose one of the four. Step two, choose one of the four. And you're just dictating this along the way. But yeah, this runs in the background, right? It's not paying a, a CSR $20 an hour to sit there and be in a bad mood and forget to do it that day, right? Uh, or, or to, you know, it's, you're busy at the laundromat so these don't get sent out, right? Uh, things like that. Um, that for the longest time we were exporting lists, I was having to remember to log in and send. Uh, it's purely automated. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, so an example of another one, um, there's some here that are not wildly important and also done by other people. So I won't talk about them a ton, but uh, our first order delivered automation right here. So this is All right, so the contact deal changes in the pipeline. So this is when uh, order gets delivered. So we set this funnel starts when every order gets delivered. Every order that gets delivered gets put in the top of this funnel. 
So funnel starts when orders from any stage get changed to delivered. So essentially this is saying when the driver clicks delivered at the door, this funnel starts for that customer. Uh, I'd imagine everyone has a lot of weekly recurring customers. So if they were getting an email after every order, that would be repetitive. Uh, and that's where we start filtering things out. So when they get delivered, we're going to wait for a day. So we have two people right now, which seems strange. Um, then we are going to, hmm, when it's sent to delivered, I thought there was a classification here of if it was their first order. Anyways, I'll check in on that. I think what's supposed to happen here, and that's probably why there's two, is because this is sending to everybody right now, is it says, hey, was this their first order? Let's weed out everybody that it's not their first order, and we're only going to send this to the first order people. Um, so let me actually build that in here right now live to show you guys. We're going to wait. We're going to do a conditions and workflow, if else. We're going to select... Field details, number of deals maybe, has total numbers of number of deals is, so now it's saying, does, we're gonna wait for a day, this, I can't imagine how many customers probably got this wrong email, uh, funny. So now we're gonna wait for a day, we're gonna say, does it match the following? Is their total number of deals one? So we're basically narrowing this down to customers. Is this their first deal? Yes, no, at no, we're going to end the automation. Uh, as I scroll, I think I wonder, I, I know why they did this. Um, then we're going to wait a day and we're going to send a review email. So now two days after, a day after your delivery, we sent an email, we checked in, hey, how was it? Let us know, please reply to this email. If you had any questions, here's all the special treatment your order got, a link to refer a friend, a link to go learn more on the website, yada, 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 yada. Uh, can, again, custom photos, custom links, custom everything, custom colors. Um, we're gonna wait for a day and then we're gonna send them a review email. This got redundant when Starship added the plugin on their site with, um, um, the reviews, but this is another, you know, send us a good review if, you, if you're happy, um, you can click on these sites. Blah, blah, blah. So I think what probably happened with the other one is this was meant to be a different automation. So let's just pretend this is a different one for the sake of the uh, video. What we have here is a wait for 45 days. So I think our crew eliminated it out, but let's look at this as another automation. Is, and actually I can build this real quick if y'all want to. Mm -hmm. um, let's do that. I'm going to delete these and this will be like totally raw. There we go. Then another automation, which for now is lumped in here is thirty days without their second order. Oh, this is right. Never mind. I'm, here I am talking bad about our guys. They got it figured out. Um, so we sent them in the review email, and now we're going to wait 30 days. And we're going to say, is they, did, have they still only finished one order? That's where we're going here. So we checked in with them on our first order, but now we're saying, wait, it's been 30 days. There's no way they should only have one order still. If they do, we're going to send them an attempt to get their second order. That's what this is. So this is a note saying, um, hey, you've had some time for a laundry pile to build. Uh, looks like you're probably due for another order again. Here's a $10 coupon code, right? Trying to turn that first order to now we've checked in with them. Um, we've made sure everything's okay. And we've now we're pushing them for a second order in the off chance they haven't ordered again. The next one we have, uh, I have on my list is uh, our attempt to get a fit. So these are arbitrary, right? You can do any any workflow you want. Uh, this is our attempt to get a fifth. So this is going to be kind of the same thing that measures order gets delivered. Was that your fourth order? And now let's really push you for a fifth. Um, so we have 33 in the queue that are waiting 14 days. And does this match the following details? Basically asking, is this their fourth order? 
And then arbitrarily, you could do this with any order count. We have a reminder, hey, we have this new bag coming out. You haven't used it yet. Would you like to, to use that? It's just another way to get in their face, you know, rain or shine, no matter what's going on. That We know when we're not sending mass emails that these customers are getting welcomed into the, uh, the app with Startup. They're getting checked in after their first order and prompted for a second order. And now they're getting after their fourth order, they're getting pushed to a fifth. So you could you could build this out as complicated or at whatever orders you want. Um, I'd love to guess that there's a lot of thought and data behind ours. I think they're pretty arbitrary, um, but you can see how you can build it out to any customization you want. Uh, and this one's pretty short. So it's a simple, do they match this criteria? Yes, send them an email. Do they not? No, that's it. There's no multiple steps on this one. It's just fishing for, a, for an extra order. Um, those are the three I wanted to hit in start job. Do y'all have questions about those? Thanks, Mark. This is going to be revolutionary for us because I mean, we're, we're, we're doing this very amateurishly, you know, this is like CSV uh, exports and then imports. And then, um, and like you said, you know, following up if the person's in a good mood or remembers to do so, this is amazing. Thank you. Yeah, I would say yeah, they're uh, they're not super complicated too. I know I looked, I made them probably look more complicated than they were in the middle, but give it a shot. It's super easy to set up, and you can't mess it up. You can sign up with your own personal email to see when they trigger and double check that they're working right. It's a, it's a cool little setup. Uh, I mean, I just would add a couple of things. I mean, I've looked at this from a different perspective, um, and we were on the way to building out some automations, actually in a different with a different company. That's just why we switched over. One of the reasons we switched over to Starship. Um, but you can get more complicated. You can cross sell different things. Like if you provide dry cleaning or alteration services. Um, the one thing I would recommend that we found on the review side, um, we didn't do it through active campaign, but we did it through others. And I see the tools are here to do which is about every, and you can randomly pick, I would say every 60 to 90 days, ping your group, your, um, your list and see if they've had an order in the last 60 days. And if they have, then after that first review set goes out, send them another, because you definitely want, as long as you, if, if you can keep those good reviews coming and in the email, um, split up on the review that says at the very thing, if you had a problem with your order, please send us an email here. Please click this button so that it will send you a direct email so you can fix the problem. Or if you'd like to leave us a positive review, click here and it takes on automatically to Google into your account, whatever, whatever one you want to point them to, or, you know, Facebook, if you're doing those, but yeah. Um, Totally customizable, right? Yes. Reviews is I we underutilize it. Startup rolled out a feature that that does that in the app now, so we lowered our emphasis on it. Um, okay, cool. I'm curious to see how. I mean, if you find that your emails are still working, let me know. I'm gonna beef ours back up. But uh, yeah, reviews is a huge one. Referrals is another that we underutilize. Like you could do all sorts of stuff in this. Uh, and the three I showed are just examples. There's a cool one we have for employment. So Karen, you mentioned like a custom form on your site. We have some for customers and they're probably the same as everyone else has. Um, but uh, the employment one was cool. When you apply to for employment on the active campaign um, form that we have, like the fold.com slash employment or something, um, customer subscribes to employment forms. So the form triggers to add them to the employment list and when they in or the employment form list. And when they get added to the employment form list, it starts this progression. So it's a confirmation and it asks them to reply with like three questions, right? Like, hey, you know, can you answer three questions for me real quick? And some of them are stupid, like, you know, tell me about the childhood memory or something. Um, tell me about your high school class that was your favorite. Um, get them to reply. And then it goes, it, uh, there's an if no answer, but there's a, a follow up to that too. So it's like, I don't know, resumes aren't particularly useful in the laundry industry, right? We need to see that you're a human, that you can talk and that you want the job. You can use automations here to get those questions in front of people. 
then they reply. So instead of reading resumes that I don't know, I, we don't even look at resumes anymore uh, uh, that I don't think are good indications of work. Um, have them reply to you. And now you're just having an email chat with them. Like it's a, it's a very personal, you get to know the person more than filtering through resumes. Um, if they can type, if they can have a conversation and write funny answers, like they're probably a good part of the team. So this is one for us that, that we've set up. It's like, Hey, answer a few questions. And then this is a hey, follow up. If you haven't answered the two questions, I'd bet the follow up got added uh, recently with how hard it is to get people to apply. But uh, this, this has been helpful for us as an unorthodox way to hire. So, uh, Karen mentioned the forms. I think creative uses around the forms is is uh, helpful, and they end up replying just straight to your employment inbox or your support inbox or whatever. And now you're just having an email conversation with either the customer or the potential employee, whoever it is. Makes it a lot more personalized at least on this, and we learned it uh, in, in a couple of weeks, so it's not wildly hard to figure out. Um, and the nice thing that we've done is we'll still send out our mass emails that you know, pretty laughable click through rates and conversions. Uh, when we go to add, we launch a new bag, we offer, you know, COVID was a big one. We have some new fundamental change in the business. Instead of just sending out a mass email at once where it's kind of an email stuck in one point at one time, we'll do that to all of our current customers and then we'll work that email into the automation somewhere to save it there as well. So it's not just past customers are getting it. This is uh, now it's just another step in one of the automations that you've already spent the time making the email, taking the photos, making it look pretty. Uh, let's just let it roll with all these new customers. Have you found any, sorry, excuse me. Have you found any pushback on people saying they're getting too many emails or have you found kind of a sweet spot on like, it's just been positive and you've converted more customers or? No, I mean, I don't, we, we get some unsubscribed, right? Like the people you're talking to aren't the people that are going to unsubscribe. They're the people that want to learn more, that want to the coupon codes that need to be pushed. Um, when they unsubscribe, they're probably going to unsubscribe from the next email you sent them anyways. Uh, I don't think that's a turnoff for us. If you trust me, if you saw the conversion rate, you wouldn't think it's a turnoff. Um, uh, but, but I think what, what to keep in, what we keep in mind there is that, the people that are going to unsubscribe from your text in StarShop or the people that are going to unsubscribe from your email, like that's not the audience. We're not talking to them anyways, like good, good riddance kind of thing. Uh, it lowers your active campaign payment if you need a silver lining, right? Like every couple plus customers lowers the monthly payment. Oh, what's up, Tammy? Um, yeah, so that's, uh, it can be polarizing and it was a fear of uh, not, not mine, but a lot of my partners when we started. Uh, but I think the conversion well outweighs that because you, you're talking to the people that want to be spoken to. Okay. Can I ask a question of, of you guys that have been using StarChip for a while? How much um, kind of on customer interactions? I know the app's been very popular. How, how much um, are your customers using the pickup text or responding to a text for scheduling their their pickups versus putting an order in uh in the app um well in our case it's um i don't have the definitive number but i'd estimate it's about 20 percent. okay so we haven't really been using the text fe that specific text feature that much i you know i i think some of us are here from the <laughs> A webinar just the other day where Mark talked about active campaign and I think uh, I'm sorry is it is it David yeah you talked about the text fixture and you said that you use that a lot we we just haven't used that I don't know I don't know if that's because we haven't educated our customers on that but we haven't really used it at all to be honest the pickup the where they just text you pick pick up Right. And when I say when I when I said we use the text, it's more as a as a communications tool. Um, okay. that, that's what I meant. But, okay. but yeah, but, you know, like I see right now, um, I mean, customers require that you educate them on this automation, you know, to mm -hmm. pick up sending that text. Uh, not everyone gets that immediately, um, is my guess. And I think this kind of thing is that this kind of automation can kind of encourage more people to take advantage of these of these little shortcuts um which like in, in our case we will send out an email say once a month and then we'll we'll put it in somewhere hey you know text pickup 
Uh, but something like this, where it's done in a much more automated uh, way, I think is, is going to be much more powerful. I think for me, the reason I bring it up is, is early on, I was very poo-poo-y of the text feature in our previous system. And it turned out to be that I was very wrong, that the majority of our customers today wanted to communicate with us via text. And basically they get a reminder when we're coming to pick them up, they can say yes or no. It's our current one. But uh, I, so I would think um, in this case, how this ties back to active campaign is I think if there are things, especially in the, um, especially in the reminders for first, second, third pickups, fifth pickups, um, there, there may be a way to use it because that's how people are communicating today. And it allows them to open it on their time. And it definitely is in front of them. So I would just, it, you know, that's, that will be one of the things I'll work on first quarter next year is what, what text automations to put in as well. Cause I think that's going to be big as well. You're going to get a shocking amount of text when you switch to start shop. It's the easiest way to handle it. Like I don't pick up my phone ever. Like text me, but you're dating yourself, Kent. Uh, everybody <laughs> wants, everybody wants a text message. Right. We, so yeah. Let yeah me it's, and it's so easy. It's so easy in the dashboard. All of our conversations are through text. We just, I just, we haven't used the, pickup feature mm -hmm. that much but yeah we completely communicate by text it's super easy yeah we don't we don't really use that pickup one either um i wonder kent as you experiment with it keep keep us posted i think it probably well, is just like a object at rest stays at rest right for us we never used it so we keep never using it um right. curious to hear how that goes with you well, for us, we will have more people because of the way we built our system before. We'll have more people that are on uh, reoccurring pickups that will want to thin if they don't have a pickup. So that reminder text will be important for that. Cool. Well, happy to help. I think Nick, Nick and his folks are, 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 can do the same. Um, I think the first step as you get into these is like write the emails out, like write, write on a napkin or in, in a word doc or something, uh, what you're going to say and what points you want them to hit. Um, I think if you try to design it in here and then design the email too, I, I tend to find myself distracted. And then I start worrying about the email versus what the funnel is and what it looks like on a big picture. So if you were to start, I would start by drawing out a map pen and paper, figuring out what you want and doing some detail on what the emails want to look like and say, and do you have the photos and things like that? And then um, it's super easy to plug in the parts. And I think Nick's team can probably help. And if y'all get stuck uh, or Nick's unavailable, shoot me a message. I can help too. Uh, I'm a little curious. We're, we're pretty new. We've only been doing this for, I guess this is our second year, but of course we had COVID as the bulk of our first year. Um, when you started doing your email campaigns, did you already have like your your huge uh, bank of all these uh, marketing photographs? Oh, no. You have such nice. <laughs> oh yeah, we love photos. Yeah. Um, so you can go to Getty Images or uh, look yeah. up any stock photos, and there are a bunch of decent ones you can grab for the short term while you're trying to get this rolling. Um, and then you can replace those over time and they're fairly inexpensive to use. So we've, we've done that as well. Both. Yeah, for sure. We just, we just got the, I appreciate the compliment. We just got these drafts back. This is our most recent one. And like, she's so talented. Oh, um, so you awesome. just have this yeah, you know, hundred photos and it's your branding. It's your bags. It's uh, we just launched this little white bag. So there, there's a ton of the little delicate bags, like glamour shots that now we can just pump out all over the website in the email. Uh, you know, you're more likely to read the email if it's a compelling photo. So, mm -hmm. and at least get this welcome email customized. So your brand is in front of your customers as you want it, not as, you know, no offense, Nick, as Startup wants it. Uh, and then get a second email in there just to try to convert on those people that sign up, they have cold feet and then they don't order. Like, any kind of discount. I think the sheets and towels discount works well and dropping off bags works really well too. So start there, you'll get some confidence and then it's, yeah, you can, you can do anything you want in here. Um, I guess this is a question for Nick. So what is the, you know, what's the next step? Um, do we, do we have, do we request this from you, um, the integration? 
Um, yeah, exactly. Just uh, let me know that you want it. Um, we just actually set it up for Karen the other night. Um, but basically, let us know you, you want to turn it on. Um, and then we will uh, basically set it up, let you know it's ready to go, uh, give you your credentials for active campaign, and uh, and go from there. So you'll, you'll create the active campaign uh, account okay. on behalf? Or exactly. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, guys. This is, this right, is going to change things here. I mean, this is amazing. Yeah. It's, it's nothing new in like the marketing world, right? Like every D to C company out has this right now. It's just like new to laundry. And I think that's what the, some of these software companies are, and startups specifically like just catching the laundry industry up to the average, right? We're not, we're not doing anything crazy new here. Like this is, this is marketing funnels 101. The laundry industry just hasn't heard of it yet. Yeah. Thanks guys. Thanks guys. All right, everyone. See y'all later. Thank Bye, you.